Hey guys, welcome back. Today is going to be a workout with me. So I am bringing you along <laughs> to my home gym. I mean, I know it doesn't seem very extravagant because it's not, it's my basement, but um, it's mine and it does the trick and it's convenience. going to go ahead and kind of just show you a few things that I have going on. Um, I've been talking a lot lately about um, some weight loss yoga I've been doing. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of um, show you the person I've been, the workouts I've been following, the equipment I've been using for that. Also, I have a giveaway at the end of this video. So make sure you definitely stick around so you can see what that's about. And I am going to show you um, what I do for my second day of my leg day workouts. This is more of my resistance training, um, more of my building. It's not heavy weight, but more repetition and resistance. So build the legs and, and the booty. All right, guys. So if you're new here, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. And please remember to hit the notification bell so to let you know every time I upload a video, which I try to do a few times a week. And if you guys do like this video, this is completely new for me, so hopefully we can make it go a little smooth. Let me know because I can totally do all different types of videos for different parts of the body and stuff like that. All right, guys, here we go. The first thing I wanted to talk about is this awesome yoga set that I have. So this is from the company Lavoids, and I think it is so awesome. So it comes in this case, it's in a zipper bag, and you can totally carry it on your shoulder. So if you're a first time newbie going to yoga and you want to check out that new yoga studio down the street, or if you and your girlfriends want to do like a hot yoga day or whatever the case may be, you can just totally bring everything along and you don't have to use somebody's old sweaty stuff because that's kind of gross. So I like it because it's totally compact, it's super sleek, and even if you just do some yoga at home in your basement like I do, then you got everything together and you feel like you got it going on. So this is what it looks like. You just go ahead. I keep mine all packed away and ready to go. So um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Or the yoga set comes in this bag. And what you do is you just go ahead and zipper it. So I'm going to show you what it looks like brand new when I, so this is everything that's inside of here. So inside you have your Lotus yoga mat, really thick. It has a really pretty design in it, which I think is really nice. And it's non-slip. And sometimes I find like the yoga mats that you get from like Walmart or whatever are still kind of thin. And you can see this one's pretty thick. And then you have two of, these yoga blocks. So, and then in this part right here, you unzip uh, this right? microfiber towel. Have that's like a mini one, and then you have another bigger towel. Got two of these yoga straps. Yeah, girl, you're so overwhelming. You're like a song to which my heart. All right, guys. So here I am getting my yoga on. And let me tell you, I always thought yoga was more of like stretching and like meditation. I've been doing this like 14 day shred like cardio yoga and it is a serious workout. It's a short video. I think they're only like between 10 and 15 minutes long. And this girl has me like working it out. I know I'm not like the most graceful or coordinated person in the world. And I literally can't believe I'm showing you guys this on the internet. But I just wanted to show you like what I do, um, you know, me using the equipment. I'm still learning. I'm not very coordinated, but I'm trying. So if you guys want to give it a try, I'm going to link everything below and, you know, go for it. I mean, you're in your own home. At least no one else is watching like the whole world like I'm doing. All right. Oh, no, no. 
can't control it You're in my skin I'm moving closer With every beat I can't control it You're everything To feel your heartbeat Is all I need Yeah girl you're so check it out but it's only like 10 or 11 minutes but as you guys can see I am winded it is no joke but it's like a good burn now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you some of my leg workouts that I've been doing that I use minimal equipment for that you can do at home without any equipment or big type like weights or anything that can really work your legs. So the things we're going to use today are just some resistance bands. I have these ones that just are obviously just the bands. I got these, I think from Amazon, anything that I can find links for, I will link it below. Um, they come in like, uh, I think it's like small, light, depending the thinner the band, the less resistance you will have. And I also have these like ribbon ones that you can use. Um, it's just, you can do the same thing. Those ones they come, I use these ones and I just tie them into a knot. Whatever you can find or whatever you like. These also, the thinner the material, the less resistance. So I'm gonna use all of them. And also, you're just going to need just a regular chair and a floor and yourself. And I'm gonna show you some pretty good exercises that will have you feeling the burn. All right, so we're first we're gonna use this one this blue ribbon, how I do it. Sorry if you hear any like creaking and stuff like that guys, but it is my basement. So we're gonna take it and just tie a knot. So the first exercise you're going to do, you're gonna have your chair right here on the side. You spread your legs. And I usually just put my hand on my hip. You can see everything. And you're just going to bring your leg out. So you're own, not only are you going to be working this leg, the inner thigh, the outer thigh, and then some of your butt, but you're also going to feel a little bit on your waist. I do 15 of these on each leg four times. So I reverse. Switch sides, same thing. We're going to put our weight on the other leg and just bring it out. And you'll start feeling like the burn very quickly. So below our knees, so you're gonna untie your knot and you're gonna make your knot a little bit tighter because it's a smaller area. And then what I do is I stand straight, put my fingertips on my chair and you're gonna bring each leg back. You're gonna feel it squeezing your butt and you're gonna get the back of your thigh as well. I'm sure there is probably like scientific names for all these muscle groups, but I don't have them. 15 each leg, four times as well. All right, so same chair. 
We're going to untie the knot here. I'm just going to take one of these because I have this one on hand. You can still use that one. I just wanted to use it for everyone who might have these. Bring them up around your legs, sitting in your chair. I bring my butt to the front of it, holding yourself up. I don't know what to do with my hands. You can put them up. I just leave them right here. And you just spread your legs, keeping your feet planted, your toes pivoted a little bit. And you're gonna be working your inner thigh. 25 of these, four times. 20 second rest in between. Keep your core tight and your back straight. I actually got this workout or this move from Vicki the Fit Chick on Instagram and it has been life changing. All right, so this next one we're going to do without our chair, but same band. We are just going to do your normal squats. Your legs are going to be shoulder width apart and you're going to sit down. Sometimes people put a chair so they can actually feel like their butt touching it. I don't, but I want you to do 25 squats times four times, 10 second rest in between. And then when you come up, you gotta squeeze, squeeze your butt. Keeping your core tight and tucked in. All right, the next one is going to be I guess they're called sumo squats. Um, I call them like plie squats, I don't know. So what you do is, is your toes are facing out to the sides and your knees are gonna come in and you'll come down, but I want you to do some bouncing. And you're gonna feel like your legs hate you. We're gonna do 20 bounces. Twenty bounces, ten second rest, times four. This is our last exercise, so this is going to be like I call it the butt bridge. I don't know what it's called in real life, but these are all. I should probably put an exclaimer out there. I'm not a physical trainer. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a chiropractor. I don't have any training in working out or physical fitness. Disclaimer. How do I put ex exclaimer? Oh, disclaimer, my bad. Um, I don't do, this is all things that I've done over the years that I've seen results in. So, I mean, do it at your own discretion, but they've worked for me and I'm just sharing a little bit of what I know. All right, so butt bridges. So I put both of my heels up on the chair and my elbows are down on the floor and you bring it up and you squeeze your butt. Twenty-five. Okay. All right, guys. So this is my this is the second day of my workout of my leg day. So typically, I told you before, I do two days of leg days. My first leg day is heavy weights and less reps. So and my second day, I'm sorry, I'm winded, guys. This is real life. And my second day. I usually do the resistance bands, so I'll do a lot more reps and more of a, it keeps me going for longer, you know what I mean? So I find these to work for me. This is what I've seen for over the years that works for my body. You know, to each its own, each body's different. Each woman has a different area they want to work on. You cannot just pick one area and only work out that area. You kind of have to work out your whole body. I have learned that too. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. I will, help, I will answer as much as I can. Um, like I said, I have no legit training in this. This is just years of, you know, trials and seeing what works and what doesn't work. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If you guys want to see any more days, um, you know, back exercises, what my heavier weight days look like, um, 
me, my spinning exercises that I do. Um, I do every, try to do every part of my body five days a week. So I'm going to go upstairs and have some protein. That is also what I want to tell you. As you guys can see, I was drinking my water throughout my whole workout. Super important. And you have to get your protein in within 30 minutes. If you are low carb like me, my options have been um, a Premier Protein Shake, a Kirkland Protein Bar, uh, low fat cottage cheese, string cheese, um, turkey breast. Hold on. Wait a second. We're doing a giveaway. I forgot. So in honor of me hitting 5K, I just want to take a second out and just thank everybody for the continued love and support. I cannot even believe that I'm here seeing 5K. I never thought I was going to make it this far, and you guys have made this such an incredible journey. So um, I, you guys know that health and fitness are such a huge part of my life, so I wanted to give you guys back something that is relatable to that. Um, as you guys seen, I went ahead and featured this uh, Lotus Yoga Essential set um, from the company Lavoie. I'm going to go ahead and give one of those away to you. Not the one I used. You're going to get a brand new one. That would be gross if I gave you the one I used because that's disgusting. But a brand new one. So here are the rules. You have to be 18. You have to live in the U.S. And you have to tell me what is your fitness goal for this year. I know it's April or March. I know it's late in the year. But what is your fitness goal? You're here maybe starting right now. You know, each anniversary date doesn't always start on January 1st. I started working out February 18th. So what day works for you is your anniversary date. But tell me, what is your fitness goal? And 10K, guys, huge giveaway. So look out for it. All right, don't forget to enter. This giveaway will be active until uh, April 8th. So April 8th is going to be the final day and um, I will be in contact with the winner. All right, so make sure that you're 18, you live in the US and tell me what your fitness goal is. Bye guys. Yeah girl, you're so overwhelming. You're like a song to which my heartbeat is playing. I go na na.